Hello, it's Dawn from Donversations. This looks like um, a presidential announcement, like super official or something. I feel weird. Um, okay, so I heard a term. Is that a wrinkle or? Oh, yeah, I did have something on my face. Good thing I wiped it off. Maybe, maybe it is a wrinkle. Anyway, um, so I was looking on YouTube. I'm always on YouTube. I love YouTube. And I was looking at one of their videos and I heard a term that I had never heard before. And I'm going to run it past you. Maybe you've heard it. Maybe I'm late to the game, but it's called social proof. And social proof, I looked it up, you know, I wrote it all down. I, cause I, I always like to have like the background of terminology like that. So I know exactly what it, it means. And basically it means, well, it's like peer pressure it, without the, the mean girl or mean person group, you know, um, forcing you to do something. We all do it. I do it. And it's basically like if you are watching YouTube videos or if you're on Instagram and you see that somebody has uh, 100,000, 500,000, a million followers, then we assume that means they're good at what they do or that means that they are more experienced or just better than somebody that has less than that. And as a, I guess I am a content creator, I get irritated at that because sometimes I'll go and I'll look at videos and this is, I'm not dissing creators. Everybody has their way. Everybody does things the way that they do them. And it's hard to put yourself out there. So kudos to anybody that does that. But there have been times where I have looked at other creators, uh, it, information material, whatever you want to call it, videos. And I'm like, wow, I don't think that that was a really good show or I, I didn't like that particular way that they went about giving that information. And I just want to speak on behalf of the small numbers, mom and pop type of startup creators that are out here all the time, pushing, trying. I, I belong to all kinds of podcasting groups. And I can't tell you the number of comments that, how do I get more followers? How do I get more subscribers? How do I get more listens? And that's for the people that are actually just out there trying. And it's hard. It's not easy. It's not as easy as just getting on social media and putting your stuff out there. And when you try your hardest and you're consistent and you feel like what you're giving is good information or funny Info, uh, educational, whatever it is that they're striving for, it's really hard to have to get no views or no likes. And you think, gosh, I think what I'm putting out there is really good. Why aren't I getting all of the listens when there's other people out there that have like 500,000 followers and their materials like okay or decent, but like 500,000 people? And I don't know if those are people or if they're robots or whatever. I am a very small fish in a huge pond and I'm trying to make my way and I love podcasting and I love having all the guests that I have on, but I just notice more and more that if you don't have those high numbers, people that could be a guest, they just look right past you. You're, they're just not interested and so my message today is to, for people, all of us to be a little bit more mindful, maybe try not to look at the numbers so much, look at the content. You know, if there is somebody out there that's just starting out, they may try a little bit harder to appease their audience. They, and, and the people that already have 650,000 followers might figure like, who cares if I lose three or 400 
I've got this many to show for it. So I, I know myself personally, I try really hard to bring great content and great, great information. And I put it all out there and it's just like, you just sit there and hope that something will take and people will discover your show and realize that you have, um, a good thing going. So anyway, that's my little spiel. Tomorrow's podcast is with Felix Cavalieri, and he is the lead singer of the Rascals. They were the the young Rascals um, for a short time, which I asked him about that right away, why they were named that. He is such a nice, nice man and such a talent, and I loved meeting him. My dad used to listen to them, so it was a huge opportunity for me, and I considered myself just so blessed to meet him and to have the interaction. I felt like it just gave me a chance to with my dad again. And I hope, I hope I made him proud. Um, but anyway, so, um, I've got a lot of really good episodes coming up, which I always say, but I really mean it. Um, I have some episodes about perimenopause, uh, mother and daughter, toxic relationships, intimacy, um, and how to keep it alive in your marriage. Ah, business leaders, how to be a good manager, um, what else do I have? Talking to your angels, all kinds of just really good stuff coming up. If you have any input of something that you'd like me to cover, reach out to me, um, comment, and I would love to hear from you. Follow me. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Follow me. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, um, Facebook, YouTube, all over at the Conversations podcast. I'd love for you to give me a try. If you already are a listener um, or subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'm trying to keep going and give you um, good content, but I need feedback too. So I make sure that I give you what you need. Um, and But thank you. And pass it on to somebody you know let, let a friend or family or, you know, share my videos to whoever you think might benefit from it. I'm always doing something different. So I feel like at some point, (laughs) at least one of my videos will resonate. But anyway, I appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and thank you so much for um, listening and following my show. And thanks for listening today. Okay. Thanks guys. Bye.